When we think about Thanksgiving, for most of us, we think about turkey and all the traditional trimmings. But one of Roy's folks is offering something spicy for your holiday menu. Okay, so everything's measured out over there, ready to go. For Brenda Garner and her son Derek, jelly making is a family tradition. It started a long time ago when I would help my mom make pear preserves and fig preserves. When we first met Brenda, she had started making jellies and preserves out of things that grew at what she calls Sandy Creek Farm. Small batch at a time. I mean, this is homemade jelly. And her hottest sellers, and I do mean hot, are her pepper jellies. Right here, this is a ghost pepper. Used to be the hottest pepper in the world. And what she once used to make her hottest jelly. And this is the Carolina Reaper. This Carolina Reaper, it just, I mean, by leaps and bounds, it is so much hotter than, than the ghost pepper. And it's, you know, it's almost dangerous when we're making it. The thing is, no matter how hot we make it, someone always wants it hotter. This gets on your hands, it does not come off easily. You do not want to get it in your eyes or in your nose. And when it starts cooking, the steam can be unbearable. I have to wear a mask and open all the windows and doors that I can, turn our fan, ceiling fans on, and um, because it lingers too. I mean, it gets in the air and it gets in, in the house. and <laughs> You have to stand back from it. <laughs> you just don't want to breathe it in. We have people who, who taste it though and says, oh, that's good. It's not really that hot. And I'm like, I guess people just have a different tolerance for, for heat. Delicious flavor. It's hot though. Just a dab. Just a dab. Just a dab will do me. All On right. a cracker, a little cream cheese, like and some jelly made with the hottest pepper in the world. Mmm. <laughs> Ooh. Mm. Yeah. That's pretty good. Yeah. You feel some heat? Yeah. Oh, there it comes. <laughs> if there is a hotter oh, yeah. one that comes out, I think it's just going to have to. Um, find somebody else to, to use it. I don't think I'm going to go any hotter. In Davidson County, looking for Roy's folks, Chad Tucker, Fox 8 News. Just a little dab will do you. All right, this Friday you can visit Brenda Garner at Sandy Creek Farms Christmas Open House. She, along with other crafters, will be there from 10 a.m. to 7 p.m. You can find the farm at 3160 South Highway 150 in Lexington, that's between Old Highway 64 and Tyra Road.